Chris Haslam, I bought a dozen of these Chinese airplanes off of Amazon. Now, I'm going to show y'all how to put one together. Most of the time when people buy these, they take them, you know, they open the package, they throw them to a young one or whatever, and then they give it to the parent and they don't know what they're doing. But this is a package of, like, there's 12 of these in here. And I got them off uh, Amazon for only like $12, including shipping. And it only took about 10 days to get here from China. So let's open one up and see what kind of damage we can make. I've had these planes before, and I'm experienced at building them, and they do fly really good. So we got everything out of the package. So we got a couple of wings here. And we got tail feathers, the propeller, the propeller, which is hanging on to the plastic there. All right. This right here is double sided tape. And this is really what puts a whole airplane together. And it's very difficult to get this two sided tape apart sometimes. And uh, I know in the past, I have spent more time trying to pull the tape off of these than I have putting the actual plane together. So I got my double-sided tape pieces together. So now I'm going to get these plastic parts off here. These are all plastic parts I need to build the plane. And this part right here is the center of the wing that holds it together. And this right here is some more parts that we need. I'm going to try to take, cut this without cutting the rubber band. Get these other parts out that we need. Now, I really love the rubber band that comes with these because this actually makes a really good flying plane. And this is how I tie the rubber band motor. I just put them beside of each other like that. And I just make one knot, just a regular knot like you tie anything together with. And then I try to push it up to the end like that and just pull on it. That makes a knot. You got a little bit left over there, but don't cut it all off because if it pulls up into that knot and then it won't hold anymore. So when this goes into the plane, it's just going to be double like that right there. So now we got instructions here on the back of the plane. And uh, the first thing it wants you to do is put... Uh, these little things on the wings so the best thing to do is just to show you what we're doing here now i'm trying to get this two-sided tape off of these pieces so i'm going to take one side off and this side here is going to fit Uh, right here on this piece. <laughs> These planes are not that easy to put together. So, all right, I got the double sided tape on there, about as good as I could get it. And now, like I said, I will spend more time getting this double-sided tape off these parts than I will build in the plane usually. So, this piece here, it goes out here on the very end and it makes the dihedral for the end of the wing. So you glue that on there like that. And that puts a dihedral in the wing, so I <laughs> know it's crazy. There is a bug in here. I normally don't see bugs in the house. So now 
I'm gonna put this piece on here. I tried leaving these parts off one time and it didn't really work out that great. All right, now I gotta get this pulled off here. Things you can tell, the tape is bigger than the part. So, you know, I'm not gonna try to trim it by no means. So you just put it on there like this and that's all it is it just makes a little dihedral right there on the end of the wing so there we go now the next thing they want you to do on the destructions is uh, this right here it slides onto the motor uh, pot, the motor mount Sometimes these don't want to glide all that good, so I just take a piece of paper. I got a piece of sandpaper glued to a piece of balsa wood. And if you sand this a little bit, it'll make it go on there. You also want to check to see if it's straight. And if it's got a little bit of a bow in it, you want the bow to be in the bottom of the plane, not in the up part of the plane. So this piece looks pretty straight. So we're going to slide this on right here. To about right there. All right. Now we're going to take this other piece of two-sided tape and we're going to put it right here on that mount. So I'm going to get the bottom side of this pulled off here. I have no idea <laughs> who sat around and designed this airplane. You know, I'm like, okay, you know, this, you know, just can't be right, you know. So there we go. Now I'm going to pull the tape off the top of this. And I'm going to set the right part of the wing on there. And the wing will just set halfway on, like that. Like that right there. Then I'm going to put the other half of the wing on, like this. Just match them up and put them on there. There we go. And then, this piece, um, just goes over the top like this and it just rubber like they got this rubber band right here and there, there's little hooks well I better start on this end I'll hook that rubber band there come around and hook it right there in the front so now the wing's on there, you know, so I know it looks kind of flimsy, but when, uh, when you, uh, take this thing out to fly, it will fly. So the next thing we're going to do is this is the motor mount and the motor mount just goes right on the very back like this. Like that right there. So now we got two more pieces of two-sided tape left. One's gonna go here, one's gonna go right there, and then that's what you're gonna stick your uh, tail feathers to. So I'm gonna get the tape off of one side here.
I'm going to put it on there. So I'm going to get the tape off of another piece. Put her on here. Like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull this piece of tape off. So now we're sticky there. I'm going to try to get this off. It's hard to take. You want to get the, the sticky off of both pieces at once because if you put one of your tail feathers on there, then it's hard to do. So now I'm just going to stick this to the center of that. And it doesn't matter if you get it exactly straight or not. And then the rudder will just stick right on right here. Now we're ready to put the propeller right on the front. Alrighty. So now we're going to put the rubber band on. Like I said, I tied the knot in the end of the rubber band. And it's going to be a loop. So we're going to loop it in half like this right here. I got her opened up. Let me get a hold of it correctly. I'm going to hook this to the back of the plane. I want the knot right there in the center. And then I'm going to hook both pieces to the front of the plane right here. Which I'm having a little bit of trouble because I'm fumbling, fingering this around. There we go. Now, when you when you when you wind this up, you want it to be like two rows of knots. So I'm winding her up. See, now we're making a row of knots right there. And the first time you fly, you want it to just be one row of knots. And then later on, all right, if you see that, that's one row of knots right there. And I know from owning these planes before that this is about where we want the wing at. It's right about right here. So she's ready to fly. And uh, so there she is. We got... You know, I put a link on Amazon to buy them with. So that's a dozen of them for like $13 or something, and that's it. And I know it looks like, you know, these only cost a dollar, <laughs> including shipping. And it seems kind of flimsy, but they do fly pretty good. And, and you'll have to, I'm going to make a flying video. You know, you have to just go to another a video to see the flying video. But what I really like about these planes is that... I use, after all the foam breaks and everything, I use this boom and propeller and even the rubber to make other airplanes with good ones with, which I'm going to make videos on how to make a better airplane out of this airplane. So we're going to unwind this and end the video. Here we go. Thank you very much.